Let's look at a simple example of how the source code has an impact on what the compiler generates in the object code. So here is two versions of computing a factorial. Mathematically, they are identical. It's a product of a sequence of numbers from 1 to n. Since multiplication is commutative, one can do the multiplication starting with 1 and ending with n. Or you can start with n and end with 1. So functionally, they are equivalent. Apparently, they seem to be having no difference in terms of extra operations. So are they same? Let's have a look. Usually, decrementing loops, that is the one on the right side, happen to generate better code. Why? This is because there is a, the, in, the, uh, in the assembly code, there will be a branch back based on a comparison of the loop termination condition. On the left hand side, there are two variables, i and n. In the comparison comparison operation, i less than or equal to n. Now, on the right hand side, there is a comparison with zero, whether i is not equal to zero. Therefore, it seems the compiler can generate efficient code by avoiding one comparison operation. For decrementing loop, we can see that. The subtract operation on the iterator i will be followed by a branch, a conditional branch on comparison with 0 or not 0. So if it is branch on not 0, look back. So there is no actual comparison. It is using a conditional, uh, conditional instruction, which we saw in the uh, MCU instruction set. So just after the subtraction, the zero bit of the conditional flags would be set and that can be used in a conditional equation to do the loop back. So it has reduced one com comparison operation. Is it a big deal? Maybe not for this uh, small one. However, if imagine having a loop which iterates millions of times or thousands of times. One instruction saved is significant when the number of iterations is very high. Let's look at that in the you now let's look at that in the disassembled code generated by the actual compiler. Here is a source code of the program that computes factorial in two different ways. As you can see the main function is calling two versions of factorial, fact1 and fact2, where fact1 is using an incrementing loop. So the termination condition is i less than or equal to n. And fact2 is using a decrementing loop where the termination is i not equal to 0. Let's look at the disassembly code for generated by the compiler with the medium optimization set. So here is at the top, the function fact1, the code that implements this function. So there is initial uh, <coughs> initializations. And then here is the actual multiplication inside the loop, followed by incrementing of the index. Subsequently, a comparison is made with the end condition, which is with n. So r1 and r2 or R2 is holding the index, R1 is holding the terminal value n. And if it is greater than or equal to, it loops back. And when it is equal, it's, le it's actually le greater than or equal to, it will exit. So here is the second version, factorial 2. Initially, it looks same. However, after the multiplication, there is a decrementing of the index followed by branch on not equal. This is a conditional execution. So there is no comparison operation. Like in the previous case, there is an add followed by comparison. Here there is a subtract followed by no comparison because it is uh, 
zero uh, comparison against zero it is implicit so it is uh, using the zero bit of the condition uh, register and using the conditional execution it avoids one explicit comparison operation so that's the idea of how a simple transformation of the code can result in one less instruction in this case but if the number of iterations in the loop is very high it adds up